Imagine a disaster scenario where a person is trapped inside a collapsed building behind a closed door. In order to locate the person and bring water to sustain them until they can be fully rescued, a robot must navigate a highly confined, rubble-filled environment and then open the door. This combination of being able to navigate confined spaces and apply forces to the environment is challenging for robot design. This challenge is addressed in this work using soft growing robots. My name is Margaret Code from Stanford University. And I'm Sang Gu Jung from Tech. And we're presenting our IRAS 2020 paper entitled A Tip Mount for Transporting Sensors and Tools Using Soft Growing Robots. This work was the result of a successful collaboration between the US and Korea. The contributions of this work are, first, an analysis of previous soft growing robot tip mount designs, and second, a new tip mount design that for the first time allows soft growing robots to apply pulling forces on the environment while retracting and to retrieve and deliver objects. In this presentation, we will introduce soft growing robots and the problem of mounting to the robot tip. Then we will analyze the previous tip mount designs. Next, we will present our new tip mount design and discuss its characterization as well as its demonstration for an object retrieval and delivery task. Finally, we will discuss the limitations of our tip mount design and how they could be improved. Now I'll hand it over to Sangu to discuss the introduction. Recently, soft growing robot made of thin LDP plastic are gaining popularity. The tube-shaped plastic is owned on a spool which is located in the base of the robot. An air pump provides pressure to the sealed robot base. The robot grows as the spool plastic unwinds and travels through the body of the robot and evert up on the tip of the robot. The inner material is called the tail and the outer material which does not move away from or toward the base is called the wall. Since the robot grows by the air pressure, it can pass through tight gaps and can operate in environments which may be sticky or slippery and may also contain sharp obstacles. To add the sensing ability at the tip of the soft growing robot and to interact with the environment, developing a tip mount is essential and it will greatly expand soft growing robot's usefulness. However, it is challenging to develop a tip mount that is permanently attached to the tip of the robot. First, the robot grows by inverting the material at the tip. And the material is always changing. Second, it is challenging to install a camera, sensor, or tools on the tail, since the tail moves twice as fast as the robot tip during both growth and retraction. If we directly install a camera or sensor cable inside of the tail, the cable get ejected during robot growth and engulfed during robot retraction. Third, when the robot retract from the base, the robot often undergoes undesired buckling, leading to lack of control of tips, motion, and force. Now, Margaret will discuss the previous tip mount design for soft crank robot that have been developed. Four different soft growing robot tip mount designs have been previously developed, each of which I will explain in just a minute. However, none of these designs meets all the requirements to give full functionality as a tip mount, which include the ability to successfully remain at the robot tip during both growth and retraction, transmit significant pulling forces from the robot body to the environment, and function consistently at an arbitrary robot length. Additionally, none of these designs allows retraction of the robot body without undesired buckling. First, the string mount pl design places a string attached to the mount inside the robot tail. However, because the robot tail moves twice as fast as the robot tip, as Sangu showed, with, with a spooled robot design, the mount does not remain at the tip during growth or retraction. This can be overcome, as shown in this video, by storing the robot straight rather than on a spool and pulling back the string from the base during growth. However, because there's a limit on the amount of material that can be stored straight, this design does not allow growth to arbitrary lengths. The outer cap mount design places the sensor or tool on a rigid cap that fits over the outside of the robot tip and is pushed along as the robot grows. Unlike the string mount design, this mount functions at arbitrary robot lengths. 
However, as Sangu showed earlier, during retraction, if any significant pulling force is applied, the cap falls off. The outer cap with real mount design combines aspects of the previous two designs. It places a string inside the robot tail, and to avoid the problem of the string being ejected or engulfed during growth and retraction, the mount includes an outer cap with a motorized spool that reels in slack during growth and lets out slack during retraction. However, this design does not function at arbitrary lengths because as excess string material builds up at the robot tip, more string must be stored inside the outer cap, which makes the tip mount unwieldy. Finally, the magnetic rings mount design consists of two rings that attract each other using magnetic rollers, one inside the pressurized area and one outside the robot tip. This allows the robot material to pass between the two rings in a low friction manner. This design remains at the robot tip during growth and retraction, but its pulling forces are limited by the strength of the magnets used. A problem faced by soft growing robots and not addressed in any of the previous tip mount designs is that during retraction from the base, the robot body tends to buckle unwantedly. Our previous work analyzed this problem and designed a retraction device that pulls on the tail material from the robot tip, preventing unwanted buckling. Because both retraction devices and tip mounts must sit at the robot tip, it makes sense to combine them for applications like object retrieval where both are needed. We propose a new mechanism for the tip mount that overcomes the limitation of previous works described above. Our current tip mount is firmly attached to the tip of the soft growing robot when the robot grows, retracts, and steers. Our current tip mount consists of three main elements, an interchangeable cap, a retraction device, and a rolling interlock. First, the interchangeable cap remains at the robot tip during growth as it pushed by growing force of the robot. In addition, it can be replaced with the camera, hook, or gripper depending on the situation. The second main component is the retraction device consisting of two active rollers covered by high friction material which contact the robot tail and three passive rollers on top of it. In growing situation, this active roller pushes the robot material forward to support growing. During retraction, they pull back the robot tail to prevent undesired buckling. The passive roller reduces the friction at the robot tip. The third main component is the magnet-based rolling interlock. This interlock allows the mount to remain firmly on the robot tip due to forces between the, the inner part and the outer cap. We use three matching sets of roller magnet units. Place circumference around the base of the outer cap and the base of the retraction device. Each roller magnet unit has a passive roller with disc-shaped magnets on either side. The magnet prevents rotation between the inner part and the outer cap. The passive roller are always in contact, which prevent the inner part from falling off of the outer cap. The inner part diameter is designed to be slightly smaller than the diameter of robot material in order to prevent increased friction due to tilting of the inner part. If the inner part diameter is too small, the inner part will tilt. To reduce the friction between the mount parts and the robot material, while growing or retracting with mechanical constraint, only the roller contact the robot wall and the magnet are apart from each other. This mechanism can transmit high forces across the membrane. We conducted two experiments to characterize the capabilities of a soft growing robot with our tip mount design. The first experiment measured how much adding the tip mount encumbered the growth speed and pushing force of the robot. The parameter used to quantify this encumbrance is the minimum pressure required to begin growth. Note that the vertical axis is broken to show the detail in the lower part of the graph. The robot's burst pressure provides an upper bound on the pressure that can be used to grow the robot, and the minimum pressure required to begin growth provides a lower bound. Any pressure in excess of the minimum goes towards either higher growth speed or higher pushing force applied to the environment. 
We measured the minimum pressure to grow in four scenarios, without the tip mount, with the outer cap only, with the tip mount without the motorized rollers, and with the full tip mount. Compared to the robot without any tip mount, the outer cap increased the growth pressure by 1.4 kPa due to the friction between the outer cap and the floor, as well as between the outer cap and the robot body. The inner part increased it by another 3.4 kPa, indicating that decreasing the friction in the rolling interlock could have a big effect on lowering the growth pressure. The rollers did not change the minimum growth pressure because they rolled without frictional losses. Overall, with the full tip mount, the amount of pressure available between the growth pressure and the burst pressure only decreased by 24%, indicating that the tip mount was not very encumbering. The second experiment measured the pulling force capability of the soft growing robot with our tip mount. We pointed the robot tip downwards and hung weights from the tip mount. The heaviest weight that the robot was able to lift was 2.5 kilograms. To understand the robot's weightlifting limit, we measured or calculated the weight limits due to four factors. The rollers slipping on the tail, the torque limit of the device motors, the device material yielding, and the robot body material yielding. The factor that currently limits the robot's weight bearing capacity to 2.5 kilograms is the rollers slipping on the tail. This weight limit could be improved by increasing the force between the rollers and the tail. The factor with the next lowest weight limit was the motor torque limit. We calculated that with the motors at their torque limit, the robot could lift 3.3 kilograms, which could be further improved by using stronger motors. The tip mount device broke apart at a weight of 7 kilograms, which could be improved by reinforcing the design and using stronger materials. Finally, we calculated that the robot would be able to lift 25.5 kilograms before its body material yielded. This is encouraging because it means that if we can improve the other portions of the design, our robot can apply very strong pulling forces. With our tip mount, soft growing robots can group to arbitrary length and retract without buckling while transporting sensor and tools at the robot tip all while steering with external actuators. To demonstrate the usefulness of these capabilities, we show a simple object retrieval and deliver task. The robot grows and steers along the floor, approaching and grabbing the water bottle. It then retracts without buckling to move around an obstacle. Then it grows and steers to hand off the trapped person and deliver the water bottle. In summary, unlike the four previous tip mount designs, our current tip mount design remains at the robot tip during growth as well as retraction, transmits pulling forces to the environment, functions at arbitrary robot body lengths, and allows retraction without buckling. However, our design has three main limitations that are not shared by all previous tip mount designs. First, it adds significant weight to the robot tip decreasing its maneuverability and undercutting the natural ability of the robot to support its own body weight over obstacles and across gaps. Second, it slides relative to the environment during growth and retraction, which means that friction with the environment plays a role in robot movement cost, unlike soft growing robots without a tip mount. Third, due to the rigid outer cap, the robot body cannot deform to pass through holes smaller than its body diameter, like soft growing robots without a tip mount can do. Future work will address these challenges and work towards the ideal soft growing robot tip mount that achieves all the desired functionality. In the meantime, for some applications, the limitations of our current design may be outweighed by its benefits. In summary, we analyzed previous soft growing robot tip mount designs and found that they have several limitations. We overcame this limitation in a new tip mount design which for the first time allows soft growing robot to apply pulling force on the environment while retracting and to retrieve and deliver object. This work improved the usefulness of soft growing robot in highly confined level field environment. Soft growing robot could already get into these kind of spaces, but this works at robot capabilities that could make them truly useful in helping disaster victim until they can be fully rescued. Thank you to all our co-authors and funding sources, and thank you for watching.